After studying the religion of Islam for one and a half years, I was ready to read the Quran in its entirety. I asked a convert sister if I could borrow her Quran to read it. I also told her I was interested in converting to Islam. As she handed me the Quran, she gave me the best advice I could have received about converting to Islam. I used to get upset because no Muslim tried to help me with Islam after I converted, or even taught me how to pray. Looking back, I think that was a blessing in disguise. We are all on our own religious journey. I have been told of stories of men and women leaving Islam because they jumped into the religion too fast. I have also been told that though they did not leave the religion, they became burned out and had to take a step back for a while. What advice did I receive before converting to Islam? The sister who gave me my first Quran said something along the lines of, If you are interested in converting, do not jump into the religion too fast. I have seen many converts get burned out by doing this. This is the best advice I could have received, and I took that advice. Though jumping into the religion works for some converts, I do not think jumping into the religion right after I converted would have worked for me. So, I do not recommend it to anyone. I recommend doing whatever makes you comfortable. Go at your own pace. I was Muslim for two years before I started practicing. Thank God, I am now practicing. But things could have turned out differently if I had not taken a fellow convert's advice. I strongly advise all Muslims to not force the religion on any new convert, or even other Muslims. It is un-Islamic to force our religion on anyone. It is overwhelming for a convert woman, or any woman, to be told to wear the hijab. Another example, it can also be overwhelming for converts to be told to stop drinking right away. Alcohol was not banned right away in Islam for this exact reason. First, some verses in the Quran were revealed to describe the problems alcohol caused. Then, God made it forbidden to pray if you were drunk. Lastly, God banned it completely. There is a hadith where Prophet, peace be upon him, said, if he would have banned alcohol right away, no one would have followed that. That is because you cannot expect someone to change right away, especially to something far different than the life they were used to living. When you pressure change on someone so soon, it can make them run the other way. Do not get me wrong, it can be helpful to know what is right and wrong in the religion of Islam. However, it is not okay to force the fear of God in someone. It is not okay to tell a convert they will go to hell right after converting if they don't stop or start doing certain things right away. One Russian woman I know converted here in the United States in college. Immediately after accepting Islam, she started wearing the niqab. She was learning Arabic, reading the Quran, praying the five prayers plus the mandatory prayers. She stopped drinking, partying, and living the life she was accustomed to. She was from a completely different culture in which this was all common. She made too big of a change too fast, and she became burned out. Over one winter break, she went back home to visit her family. Her family did not like her new religion, or how she was acting. She told her family that she did not like the way they were living their lives either. They yelled at her and made her feel horrible. They told her she was selfish, crazy, and so forth. This visit is when everything hit her, and her new religion came to a screaming halt. This is because when she converted, she was so focused on Islam and her new life, she forgot to breathe. After consultation from her friends and family in Russia, she stopped practicing altogether. They did not like who she became. She was overwhelmed with what they had to say. So, the rest of her trip in Russia, she went back to the way she was before converting. She spent it partying, hanging out with boys, drinking, etc. Then she came back to college in the U.S. and continued the life she had always lived in Russia. If she was given the same advice I was before I converted, things may have turned out differently for her. May Allah guide us all.